So with all of Notion's updates over the last few months, I wanted to update our tasks database template. And so what I've done is I've actually geared it towards something that could be used in a team environment, something like an agency, a uh, small team, or if you're working with other contractors or freelancers, this is going to just kind of combine all of the useful Notion features for a tasks database into one database that you can just copy and add into an existing workspace. So I'm just going to walk through what's inside this tasks template and how you can go about using it. So the main thing to note is there are, there's one database with a variety of views and it's all going to be referring to the same tasks database, which means you'll see the same tasks just in some different ways. So to begin with, you just get a list, just a table of all the incomplete tasks across all your projects and for all of the various responsible members of your team. You also have a timeline view, which is sorted by the date, the due date, and then it is also subgrouped into various projects. I'll just quickly mention that by default, this database template is only going to reference one database, so I'm not using a relational property here, but if you already have a projects database in your existing workspace or you're using one of ours, you can actually just edit this property and change it into a relational property, find your projects database, and then instead of typing the name of the project, you would just use a relational link here. So that's just a quick aside. For now though, we are subgrouping the timeline so that you can see all the tasks as they are uh, progressing by project. Then we have three views which you can tailor to be for your team members. So for example, if you wanted to change this to be more specific to your actual team's names, unless it happens to be Antonio, Laura, and Omar, you can just edit the name of the uh, team member here and update it in uh, the views as well. So by default, we have three different views for three different team members. And then whenever you assign a new task, let's say we, this was actually for Antonio, this will show up in Antonio's view. If I change this, it's going to move out of this filtered view and we'll see it in Laura's view. So this is useful for just getting a list of tasks specific to members of your team and you can edit it however you like. We then have a project board view, which is just tracking the status of tasks, uh, which is subgrouped by project. So you can see all of the tasks that belong to Acme Inc. and you can drag them across as you complete them. Once you drag it into the done section, it's actually going to disappear from this view because we're only going to be tracking incomplete tasks. If you wanted to keep this board view without that, uh, that functionality, you can change this filter to uh, just show everything is what you would do here by removing this complete function. But if you wanted tasks to be cleared from the board as you mark them done, you can keep that filter in place. Next, we just have a simple calendar view if you like to, to get an overview of your month and what tasks are going on. And then we have an all completed tasks here. In this view, we have a, an AI summary section. If you don't have Notion AI, this won't show up, so don't worry about it. But it's also something that you can tailor um, so that you can edit what exactly, uh, which information you'd like to summarize about a task. So if you were doing some work on this page, so maybe this initial client meeting, you actually took some notes about the, or during the meeting, then this summary, this AI key info summary would summarize the notes from your meeting for you. So that's just another uh, feature of this database. So again, that is just one tasks database with a variety of views that are hopefully useful for kind of small team and even individual use cases if you're working on multiple projects. The last thing I want to note is I've added an automation button, which you can edit by clicking this cog button. Let's just, I'll just show you what this does. Um, when I click the button, it's going to add a list of four, I think, onboarding tasks. So I hit that and we get four preset uh, tasks which don't have a project assigned to them. So let's say this was a new project, uh, client C. Then I'll just 
type that in for now. Again, if you want to create the relational property, you can do so. But for now, I'm typing it. I'm just going to drag that into those new, um, new tasks. So now we have four new onboarding tasks. If I head to my timeline, there'll be a new project here called Client C, and I can adjust the, uh, the length and the timing of these tasks here. And again, the ones that are assigned to Antonio, Laura, and Omar will show up in their respective spots. So client onboarding, maybe that's not the most useful uh, sequence for you, but I wanted to give one instance of the button so that you can go in and edit uh, the elements of this button so that if you did have some uh, kind of common recurring tasks that you wanted to be able to add quickly with the button, you could just edit this button, just edit the, uh, the individual um, objects that are being added to the database here. So you can change who's responsible, update the name of it. Uh, by default, everything is going to be set to not started to begin with. And I give it a due date to be today, just because as we saw before, when I head into the timeline view, I want those new tasks to show up on my timeline. Even if the dates aren't correct, I can quickly adjust and change them from the timeline view. When a task doesn't have a date, so if I were to remove the date property from this, let's just get rid of it, or clear, you're gonna see that it disappears from the timeline view because Notion's timelines require a date to be set for it to show up on the timeline. So that's why we have, um, it. by default, you'll see the due date is today, even if that's not necessarily correct. So hopefully that button is something you can play around with, experiment with, and add your own flavor to, but this is the an updated Team Tasks Hub template, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks.